Mobile County Commission is holding budget hearings this week. And one big question that remains unanswered is whether or not the county will fork over $1.2 million to the school system. It's money commissioners threatened to take away after reviewing the school system's books. I think that, in my opinion, any funding they get at this point will be based on, on, some, on performance as a system. The school board hopes to convince the county to approve the money with this report delivered to the commissioners this morning. It's a response to the county's criticism of how the school system is run. Let's look at some of the main points. In its report, the county complained the school system had no formal management plan. In its response, the board says it will require regular reports from managers beginning in January of next year. The county also said the school board didn't have a plan for debt reduction or capital funds. The board says that isn't so. The board's response includes details on the system's plan for debt reduction and capital funding. The board says it hasn't been able to spend what it wants on improvement projects like air conditioning, but it will over the next five years according to a plan drawn up by an accounting firm. And here's another item. The county charges folks can't keep up with school system spending because the board doesn't publish a financial report. The board says it will begin publishing a semi-annual report in a local newspaper as soon as it gets full 1993 figures. You can rest assured that if the school board continues business as usual, the commission's business won't be as usual. The county commissioners plan to go over this report over the next several days. Now, if they accept it, they say the school board should not look for a $1.2 million check anytime soon. According to the commissioners, if the money is approved, it would probably be allocated over a period of time, either quarterly or twice a year. In Mobile, I'm Renee Dowles, Action News 10.